good morning guys um <laughs> i tried to shoot the remainder of my animal mythical creature sketching last night but my dogs didn't think that was a good idea and they tackled me like portion of the way through the video so i gave up <laughs> um yeah it just was not working out right. So, anyways, this new section of book is all on drawing backgrounds for comics and, like, landscape sketching and that kind of thing. So, we're going to do that. One of the main things... when you are doing um, background sketches and I'm kind of like the worst person to be teaching this because I'm really bad at it but I figure if I can give notes on what I know what I'm supposed to do I'll be able to remind myself to do it so <laughs> let's try this and see what happens oh my god all right cool so whenever you draw like your background, whatever, you're gonna have a horizon line somewhere on it. And the horizon line is gonna dictate where your people stand. Now, you don't have to put the head on the horizon line, depending on where the person's standing, you can actually like, put it at the shoulders, put it at the waist of the character, it all depends on what you need to do in that scene and where you need the camera angle to be. And I've drawn one image where it's like a bird's eye view, so like you see looking down, you see like through trees and stuff, so there's not really the vanishing points like at the bottom. Um, the horizon line's kind of like through the weird vertical, anyway. So, doing this. You just kind of start building some blocks. And always make sure that you have a vanishing point somewhere off the page. Like, on the horizon line, but a little further out, depending on the type of um, perspective that you're doing just because it gives it a little bit more believability This video is so weird. I have the sun behind me, so I'm very sorry about the quality of the video. But anyway. My dog knows I'm up here, so she's whining for me to come and get her. Oh dear. Anyway. I'm gonna have to take her out in a second. Oh, and when you're drawing people in the background, if they're standing, always put their head on the same line. This is a really good trick. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just went demony. Uh, this is a really good trick. Uh, always keep 
the heads of your characters on the same line. So like either wherever the horizon line is, if you're placing the heads on there, always make sure that you're placing, like no matter how far back in the distance and how small or large the heads are, make sure you're placing them on the horizon line. It'll give a better illusion to um, space than if you're just like willy-nilly making large and small heads or like placing people. Unless it's like a child or something where his head's not on the, like they can't be on the horizon line because they're not the same size, but always have like a reference point um, or an actual tall figure beside that little figure so that you can have some sort of a measurement tool. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm not the best at this shit. So I will be looking up reference and like for to fill out my backgrounds. Because drawing a character in a scene, that is one thing, but to actually like put them in a believable background is something completely else. So I've got a lot of research to do. And it's just like on how to render specific things and like what, like for pirate ships, like this guy's on. Guy, girl, I don't know yet. something I struggled with a lot in school is trying to fit characters believably into spaces and that is one of the things that if you're drawing comics or if you're illustrating and doing different scenes and stuff that's kind of one of the things you need to master is fitting characters believably in space otherwise you're just going to have a bunch of floating heads and Whereas comic, comedic comics um, are okay for that, but for anything more like superhero comics or if you want to do slice of life comics or any kind of comics and storytelling, you always want to have your characters in believable backgrounds that they fit into properly, you know? Like, so I hope you guys can gain a little grain of knowledge through my rambling and I'm gonna cut this video short so if you have any questions or suggestions for videos please let me know in the comments I am always open to feedback um, if you have an idea for a set uh, that you'd like to see me draw um, and what I mean by that is a 20 page set of a th specific theme like vehicles or how I draw emotions or something on characters please let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know what you guys would like to see and if I can break it down for you because I really enjoy these little teaching sessions anyways have a great morning and I will probably post another video later Bye, guys.